Hey everybody, this is Adam with Impactful Changes Hypnosis. Wanna make a quick short little video. Does one hour of hypnosis equal eight hours of sleep? Long short of it, no, okay? No, 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 and here's why. One, nothing can ever replace a good night's sleep. You want six to eight or maybe even 10 hours of good, deep, long sleep, okay? Even when I get clients who want to get a big change, maybe they're dealing with some, a lot of emotional problems, a lot of trauma, the biggest thing I always tell them is that they need to get long, deep, hard sleep. Like six to eight hours, uninterrupted, undisturbed sleep. Does that mean they gotta take melatonin or um, some over-counter stuff or even get trazodone? I wouldn't even suggest all that. Try to see if you can get good at six to eight hours sleep. Now, some people are using these things called cell phones. They emit some uh, blue light rays from the IED, from the, the LEDs. And what happens is it tricks your brain into thinking it's dawn. It messes up the circadian rhythm. So put down the cell phone after 8.30 p.m. Try to get off the computer after 8.30 p.m. Or use some filters on your computer screen to help you with that. Uh, additionally, if you're not going past one hour of sleep, now if you go past one hour of sleep, you are going to get some kind of rebalancing of the, the hormones inside your uh, your brain inside your mind, and that's only because you've gone into what's called REM sleep, random, re, you know, rapid eye movement. Um, and I've seen this in sleep studies from the Air Force, and they talk about you know, sleep deprivation being akin to alcohol intoxication. So why is it such a big deal? Well, when you are resting, your mind is giving like a reprocessing. The best thing I could actually say is put it in computer terms is it's allowing the memories that are no longer important the short-term memories and saying what well, needs to be logged into long-term it's allowing you to rest it's allowing you to recuperate okay your brain your mind needs rest if it does not get it it will not heal so uh, imagine if you were uh, imagine if this you haven't eaten all day and you walk into a room and your favorite hamburgers there or your favorite meals there and you eat it all up like, wow i feel so much better all right, you've only eaten one meal that day. Does that make up for all the calories that you missed in the whole day that you should be taking? Does that make up for all the protein that you've missed in the whole day? Does that make up for the carbohydrates the whole day? More likely, it doesn't. So you need to eat a regular, balanced, fully nutritious meal. If you're doing fasting, you still need to have the correct amount of calories, the correct amount of proteins, the correct amount of fats, vitamins, nutrients. You can't, there's no cheats around that. You still need the fuel. You still need the rest. So that's why it's essential for that. It's the same thing as if you were freezing cold outside and you walk into a room and I remember as a kid we had this old radiator and in the room and I remember I'd walk in and the radiator would be warm. I could feel it from across the room. I'm like, oh my God, that thing is radiating so much heat. And I would get closer to it so I could warm up. Now, lo and behold, the temperature in the room was only 70 degrees. It's only like 68 degrees in this room growing up as a child in, in Oklahoma in the winter time, it was only 68 degrees in this parlor. And as I get closer to it, I realize that it's warmer next to the radiator, but still, I'm going from 40 degrees or 35 degrees up to 70 degrees. It, and I, it feels like it's 100 degrees to me. It's all perception. So if you are taking an hour of hypnosis, you're going an hour of trance, and you come out and you feel fully rested, you're actually just getting a small dose, a sugar rush, really, of what you really need, which is long, deep rest. I'm all about cat naps, I'm all about meditation, yet you still need to sleep. So, if you like this, hit the like button, subscribe, share it with somebody, tell somebody, but an hour of hypnosis, as great as a tool as it is, it is really not a substitute for long, good, deep sleep, all the night long. You really need that, it's required. I'll talk to you soon, bye.